Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Yoshi Fumi Kondo's Whisper of the Hearts in 1995. Um, so yes, once again, another anime review. Um, here we are back, and this time, one I've never seen before, um, Whisper of the Hearts. Um, this is spine number 11 uh, on the Studio Ghibli collection. Um, once again, the Blu-ray here. And yes, um, was really, really looking forward to this. Um, this is one of the ones that I picked up, um, I can't remember now, a while ago. Um, you know, of course, it's just been sitting here. As you know, I wanted to actually watch um, for the first time. Um, I didn't know, I knew nothing about the film at all, um, other than, you know, it's not actually directed by Miyazaki or Takahata, although Miyazaki did actually, you know, write the film and basically all of the, um, you know, storyboard and stuff was done by Miyazaki. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a collaboration, you could you could say. But Kondo, um, you know, directed, of course. This is his only, you know, actual feature film, um, you know, that he directed. It was the first one um, to not be directed under Ghibli, of course, um, to not be directed by Takahata or Miyazaki. Um, and actually, you know, it was also Kondo's last film, because um, unfortunately he passed in um, 1998. He um, was, you know, meant to be kind of um, at least, a, you know, another one alongside the two, um, Takahata and Miyazaki, who would emerge, you know, as a great um, director. And, um, you know, he definitely, yeah, it's, it's a shame there. Um, but of course, this film um, is very popular at times. Uh, other times, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not exactly, you know, kind of, as mainstream a lot as a lot of the other ones, um, not quite as loved um, overall, but it has got an eight on IMDb, um, and it is critically acclaimed and stuff. Um, some say, you know, there are small groups who say it is one of the very finest um, anime films. And yes, you know, of course, I've been going through um, quite a lot of these, um, including, of course, Princess Kaguya, um, and of course, Only Yesterday, um, which, you know, really, really surprised me, um, you know, of course, when I watched that the other week. Um, and yes, here we are. Well, the film, you know, not directed by Miyazaki and Takahata, as I say, um, the basic plot involves um, Shizuku um, as a character, 14 year old girl, um, kind of, uh, yeah, of course, it shows family life and school life as well. Um, and basically, yeah, she's she's at kind of a last summer, this uh, junior high school. And yeah, basically it shows, um, you know, her kind of um, school at home, um, and of course, yeah, so it deals, of course, uh, this film uh, really, really delves into, you know, the general themes of dreams and, you know, aspirations um, and all this kind of stuff. And, of course, she wants to be a writer. Um, and, of course, she meets this character of, of Seiji, um, you know, quite you know, soon on in the film after she, of course, follows this mysterious cat. Um, it's kind of a really great um, kind of prolonged, um, you know, comedy sequence uh, with the cat, of course. And she follows the cat to the shop um, and, of course, the violin maker, the trainee violin maker um, of Seiji, um, basically roughly her age, and um, yeah, the rest of the film, I'm not going to say um, anything about the film. Um, you know, it does. It kind of looks like on the front, uh, like this is you know a full-on fantasy film. Um, you know, it kind of maybe yeah something something like Cast from the Sky or, or um, you know My Neighbor Totoro or something like that. But actually, you know, surprisingly, this has not got too much fantasy in it. Um, you know, it is actually more. Like only yesterday, actually, I think it's a very, very similar film, um, you know, and it does, it's more as it kind of like only yesterday was, uh, more like an Ozu kind of classic sort of, you know, low key drama, you could say, um, you know, I love, I love them sort of films, of course, um, and it kind of deals with home life, um, and of course, you know, in this, it's school life as well, and, and just, you know, it is a romance as well uh, between the two characters I mentioned, um, and of course, there are many other side characters in the film. It does, of course, you know, as well, um, deal with the family life, as I've said. Um, now, I didn't know what to expect with this film. Um, and after, of course, reviewing um, so many different anime reviews uh, and giving them really, really high ratings, um, yeah, basically, um, you know, I think only yesterday, actually, as well, um, it's probably the best new watch um, that I've seen this year. Um, so, yes, I thought, could this film top only yesterday and some of these other ones, you know, um, that I've seen? Um, and actually, surprisingly, um, this film was better for me. Um, and actually, it's not too talked about um, at times, and it's not you know one of the the most loved films overall from, from you know Studio Ghibli. For me, um, there's no question that this is in my top 100 films of all time. Um, it's that good. Um, I was blown away. This film uh, is it, stuff of legends. Um, it's absolutely wonderful, um, and it's one of the finest films ever made, in my opinion. Um, not everyone will love the film, but for me, um, this film um, is remarkable. Um, it actually comes very, very close. Uh, this is a special thing. The Princess Mononoke, um, I'm actually not sure what I prefer um, at this current state. I prefer it to Totoro, uh, and I, I could prefer it um, to Howl's Moving Castle. 
that's how good the film is. Um, what a special uh, experience, and um, this film really done everything right in every single way. Um, you know, it's just a perfect film for me, um, and it's just a perfect blend of fantasy and reality, um, and just such a kind of such a charming film. Um, you know, it's not it's not a film. Uh, you know, it's, as I say, it's got too much fantasy in it, um, and usually I do prefer kind of overall the. The best of Miyazaki, you know, which are more full-on fantasy works. Um, this one, it had hints of it, um, you know, more kind of suggested fantasy in a way. It's not, you know, full-on. It's kind of like, you know, her dreams and stuff as well and, and imagination. Um, but yeah, basically, um, despite that, I think this is just one of the very finest anime films. Um, you know, as I say, it's on the level of Mononoke. Um, where everyone knows better, um, who knows, but it's literally um, around that spot, you know, on my 100 favourite films. That's how good it is, um, you know, the, the characters, um, you know, Shizuku um, was just such a great protagonist, um, I think one of the very finest um, in an animated film full stop. And yeah, she's just one of the best um, protagonists, of course, um, because she's not like normal people, you know, she's so unique, um, you know, she kind of, she wants to do it her own way and, um, you know, her dreams and everything, um, you know, she doesn't want to be like an everyday person um, kind of thing, and that's what really, really spoke to me, um, you know, just someone who who has, you know, big dreams, of course, um, but of course, it's so powerful how she kind of, um, she kind of, yes, you know, expectations and all this kind of stuff, um, you know, weighing on her, and of course, it does show, um, you know, kind of, how, how she struggles, um, just so wonderfully as well, this way it's portrayed, um, it's so honest, and true to life, um, something that, yeah, it's just, it's, it's so meaningful, um, you know, and of course, she, the way she kind of, um, she's, She's told uh, by different people to do this and do that, and of course, um, you know, things about working and, and stuff, um, but you know, her dreams, of course, is something that she keeps she keeps pushing for, um, and let me tell you, you know, the way this film comes together really, really satisfied me, and um, you know, it just, it was really such an inspirational film, um, you know, it's so, so powerful uh, in the way that this, this plays out, um, and it's just a character who, you know, is really, really funny at times, um, you know, a charming character, um, and just one who really has, you know, loads of struggles, um, you know, and, and stuff, and she, of course, has, has loads of, um, yeah, people kind of trying to get in her way, um, but she, of course, yeah, she finds, she finds something, um, you know, in common with this character of, of Seiji, um, who also wants to, you know, chase his dreams, um, of course, he, he does, you know, want to go to Italy, uh, eventually, to kind of uh, become a, you know, violin, um, violin maker, of course, um, and, and really pursue his dreams. And in that sense, you know, the way this film uh, portrays these, um, you know, these aspirations and stuff, um, it's so inspirational, as I say, um, and it's just, this character, um, you know, our protagonist is just such a great character. She's so well-rounded, um, all her motivations, you know, they're truly, truly something you can relate to. Um, and just, she's just this, a wonderful, wonderful character. Um, and, and of course, wonderfully drawn, so yes, one of the, the best protagonists um, in an animated film. Um, the music, of course, um, you know, is just absolutely wonderful, um, and of course the, the kind of the song, uh, John Denver, of course, Country Roads, um, is, is used in the film, in different renditions, as a key part, you know, in the film, um, you know, of course, some hilarious moments actually as well, um, early on when our protagonist, of course, um, is kind of writing um, different, um, you know, takes on the song, uh, hilarious moments. I was surprised how funny this was, of course. The the concrete roads, you know, that, that kind of, it's all these different uh, lines and stuff she, she mixes up, um, and it's just hilarious, of course. Um, and just, that song itself, you know, one of my favorites, I love that song, and it's so wonderfully used here. Um, you know, from the very start, you know, I thought, this is something special, this film, um, you know, in every sense. You know, the animation, um, you know, and it's not, it's not a uh, standout in terms of, uh, you know, it's not Kaguya or something. It's not, you know, different um, to a lot of the Shiojibi, uh, Shiojibi works. But as always, uh, despite that, you know, there was always a standard uh, to the animation. Um, once again, this is wonderful. And it's more in this film, uh, not about the kind of style of, of the animation, but just um, how kind of wonderful, um, you, you know, this 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 world is, 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 is uh, portrayed, um, all the locations. The, actually the use of weather and you know the way the weather is portrayed and how it kind of contributes um, to the atmosphere you know and the overall feel at certain moments in the film um, you know the, the kind of nostalgic feel that it has and melancholic uh, feel it's just wonderful um, so in that sense you know it's not you know kind of as as wowing or you know kind of maybe creative visuals as as, as Kaguya or, or something like that or even Howl's Moving Castle or something um, but it is 
it's something where actually the way that it tells the story visually um, is actually just, I think, more effective than quite a lot of these films um, because it's more in tune with the characters even more so as well. It's, it's something that, you know, the combination of all these um, these elements, you know, just really elevates this film um, while on the surface, as I say, it's not, you know, a standout, you know, kind of unique and stuff as some of the other ones, um, you know, in, in, in Studio Ghibli, of course. Um, but this film, just uh, wow, um, this narrative is so wonderful. Uh, once again, um, it kind of portrays um, school life, uh, like, of course, only yesterday done, um, you know, wonderfully, of course, in the first sort of 45 minutes, especially that film, um, this one. Kind of does that throughout the entire film, um, you know, I was thinking around the 45 minute mark, um, oh God, it can't get better than this, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's so enjoyable and of course it's going to go different places, um, you know, and it's probably going to go maybe more, I don't know, I didn't know, I really did not know anything about the film, so I thought it could go adventure um, and it could, it could lose this charm and stuff and it could, um, you know, if it went too full on fantasy, because I was thinking, you know, this maybe just doesn't need to be a full on fantasy film. It wasn't, of course, as I say, I was clueless uh, going in, which is a good thing. And luckily it kept up all these personal um, relationships, um, you know, all these characters. Seiji, um, what a great character. Um, he's kind of, there's a mystery about him, of course, um, and it's just, he's so likeable. His um, his motives, of course, so relatable. This film, you know, to call it relatable um, is an understatement. Just everything in the film, all the themes, the character motivations, um, and just... Just everything that's portrayed in the film is something, you know, that is, is so true to life. Um, and also at the same time, it has this fantastical feel to it, um, but more in its spirit than actually, you know, actually being a fantasy film. I don't really consider this too much of a fantasy film. Um, it's more it's more drama romance, um, you know, than anything really. Um, and it's just, it's so wonderful. Um, it's kind of a musical at times, although again, I wouldn't really call it a musical. It has just got some, some songs in the film where they're kind of singing along. Which, of course, um, one of their moments in the centre of the film. Um, what a kind of uh, a joyous moment, um, you know, and there's many of these littered throughout the film. Um, you know, this is just pure delight um, from Salisbury. But yes, there is a scene where quite a lot of the characters uh, join in, in that song, of course. Um, you know, and it's just, it's one of the most magical things I've ever seen. Um, you know, and I was just, surprisingly, I, I think actually this film got better and better. Um, this is a rare treat. Um, it really is where, you know, some films like this, um, you know, they start off, um, you know, higher than they, they eventually reach. You know, only yesterday, I think, um, was consistently perfect, um, but it wasn't consistently, you know, as um, I think that the first, basically the first um, 45 minutes of that film, and you may, may, maybe the ending as well, the ending 15, was, you know, higher than the rest of the film. That would have been in my top 100, um, although it was very, very close still, um, you know, overall. But it did have a moment, you know, an act, um, which I didn't like love quite as much, which is just, you know, it's all relative and everything, um, it's all subjective, but this film basically in every sense got better and better um, as the film got, went on, um, which is very rare um, considering, you know, how this, how wonderful this film started out, as I say, I did not expect it to be, um, you know, better and better as it went on, it was, um, and it became more emotional, uh, more investing, and um, just the way it came together at the end, um, let me tell you, this is one of the finest endings I've ever seen. Um, you know, it really moved me. It was such a wonderful um, realised ending. Um, actually, it reminded me of Sunrise, the film, uh, Murnau film as well. Um, the way it kind of came together, you know, at the end and stuff, um, involving, of course, the sun. Um, you know, it's very, very different, but just a kind of similar sort of uh, thing going on there. Um, and it just, it brought me to tears, absolutely, you know, this film broke me, um, but, you know, it's very, very light at times, um, but everything, you know, in the film, the characters, um, the way it kind of deals with uh, pursuing your dreams, um, this this wonderful whimsical, you know, kind of this romance, um, the school life as, as well, you know, all the friends, um, all these kind of subplots, um, they are not subplots um, in the hands of these creators, um, they don't feel like that, they feel just part of the story, um, they're not sidetracking anything um it's just all part of this wonderful narrative um and of course yes um you know it just everything in the film is it, truly wonderful um you know it just means it means so much to me um it appears you know maybe light at first um, but actually because it's so so fine-tuned and so so meaningful in many ways you know it just it feels kind of like an epic at times um you know in, in some regards and just one of the greatest um animated films um full stop actually it could be yeah it could it could quite easily be my top 10 um animated films of all time um have to exactly check on that number uh, 
Roughly, yeah, roughly, I think it could be, um, which is something else, um, you know, because that's, of course, there, there's so many, um, you know, animated films, you know, my favourite films list, uh, massive, obsessed fan, but this film is truly special, uh, this is one of a kind, um, you know, it has a, such a wonderful score, uh, the soundtrack overall, it's just truly wonderful. Yes, of course, uh, Kuji Nomi um, was the, the, the composer for this film, um, and it's something else. It's very, very different um, to Joe, uh, you know, Hisashi scores, um, and just overall a lot of animated films, uh, anime as well. Very, very different, uh, but in its own regard, just truly wonderful, um, and it just, it really was nostalgic, um, and it was, it's very, very, um, you know, unique, um, the soundtrack, I think, um, overall. It really added a, a sense of atmosphere, um, and a sense of wonder in this film, um, you know, which is very, very rooted in reality at times, um, but there is a sense of wonder that really I cannot describe. Um, you just have to watch the film. I could probably describe it, but it would, it would take more than you know words, that's for sure. Um, this is just something that only films can do um, for me, this film, and just just uh, truly magical, this film, uh, without being you know, a full-on fantasy film. Um, I love fantasy, um, you know, my favorite, my favorite, um, basically my favorite films, um, you know, are fantasy, um, you know, my number one spot. But yes, um, not favourite standalone film, that is a, it's a Kubrick film that I've mentioned, uh, but my absolute, you know, favourite kind of works are fantasy, um, there's a clue of course. I love fantasy, um, this one has got very, very suggestive, um, you know, hints and stuff, it's very, very um, low-key in that sense, but it does feel, um, you know, like it kind of has the spirit of, a, you know, kind of fantasy works, um, and the world building as well, um, you know, it's just truly wonderful. It's a magical film, um, full of wonder and hope, um, and it's just... It's something that, you know, this narrative um, it is truly wonderful. There is a, there is a sense of struggle throughout the film, um, you know, where she's not getting kind of, you know, respected and stuff. Um, and just the way this happens in the family life. But eventually, of course, things really, really come together um, in ways that I didn't think it would. I, I thought it would kind of be more of a kind of, uh, possibly a depressing ending. I was, I was kind of, um, you know, nervous about the ending, um, but luckily, it's truly something that is satisfying, you know, that's the thing. Um, it just came together, you know, in truly, truly wonderful ways. And uh, even the end credits, you know, it kind of tells a story in its own way as well. Some of the actual subplots are wrapped up in there, which is just wonderful to see. And, um, you know, this film, um, in fact, talking too much more about it, you know, I can go on and on. Um, but I've said most of the things I need to say. Um, this is just uh, one of the most spiritual films I've seen. Um, you know, it's an Ozu film. It's really up there with some of his very best works. Um, it's kind of like an Ozzy film, as I say. Up, yeah, up there with his very best stuff. Uh, not, you know, his very, 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 very best uh, number one film. Um, but, you know, basically it's on par with a lot of these ones, um, which is saying a lot. Um, this film, as I say, and as you can tell, um, this really, really exceeded my expectations. Um, I did not think this would be in my top 100, um, that's for sure. I didn't think it would be as good, um, pretty much, as Mononoke. Um, that is something else. It's not my favourite because they spirit away um, anime film, but wow, this could be this could be my second favourite. As I say, um, this was stuff of legends. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful film, um, and have to give it a hundred percent plus tier one. Um, yes, this completely uh, blew me away, and uh, just I cannot recommend it more. Um, you know, if you've not seen the film and you think, hmm, maybe people don't talk about it too much. Um, you know, and of course. Not everyone's going to agree with you know with this, but really, really check it out because this is for me one of the very best um, anime films. Um, you know, I can understand if people say this is the best. Absolutely, um, this is something that it's just so so wonderful in, in its themes. Um, you know how human this film is, um, and just it's spiritual. It's, it's just uh, you know a magical film. Um, you know, it's never it's never flat at all. Um, this is a film that mixes drama um, with kind of fantastical elements uh, wonderfully. Um, of course. It's a beautiful romance film. Um, all these characters, uh, Seiji, um, Shizuku, um, you know, just absolutely stunning. Um, the way they're written, the way they're kind of realised on the screen, um, and just, you know, kind of the, 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 the low-key elements, um, you know, only enhance the film. Um, some people could say it's a melodrama, um, which is always fine by me, of course, um, you know, but I think because, you know, it's kind of um, so much of these, these, these characters and all these little moments, uh, small details, are, that's, you know, elevated, um, this doesn't, you know, it's just, it's just one of the best films ever made, um, you know, this, this, just the film that I cared about from start to finish, um, this one got better and better, um, with each, with each act, of course, um, right up to one of the best endings I've ever seen, um, so yes, 
I think, uh, you know, some people have been looking forward to this review. Wow, you know, this film exceeded my expectations. Um, you can say it turned out as a wonderful experience. Um, you know, I was blown away by the film. Um, this is better for me than Kaguya, than, you know, only yesterday, um, as I say, probably House Moving Castle, um, definitely Totoro. All these works um, that are some of the best in cinema, and then you have this film, not even, you know, fully directed by Miyazaki or, you know, Takahata and stuff. And it's up there with the very best, um, you know, I think it's better than Takahata's films um, overall. And very, very, you know, close to being, if not, you know, the second best anime film overall. Um, wow. This film blew me away. It's just um, a spiritual film that really uh, spoke to me on every level. Very, very emotional, um, uplifting, um, human. You know, it was so peaceful. This film, you know, it's just a film that really comforted me. And um, wow, enough said. Um, one of the very finest films ever made. Um, so, yes, Whisper of the Heart, uh, and possibly maybe yeah, one of the top three um, films of 1995. Um, so yes, pretty damn good. Um, this is an absolute masterpiece of cinema. Um, and I cannot recommend it more. Check it out if you've not seen it. If you have, of course, I, you know, I'd be delighted to see you know, the comments um, on this film. Um, you know, I think this is one I truly love. Uh, one of my top 100 films. Um, yes, it will be appearing on there on my kind of compilation videos, you know, maybe next year or something. Um, that will take a while to it to fully you know, finalise, but wow, this one's going to be higher, um, and yes, thank you for watching my review.